1995, Britain built Sizewell B nuclear power station and it hasn't built another one since. Instead, the private sector has focused on much cheaper gas power and governments have gone along with it. In the 2000s, natural gas was easy to come by, abundant and cheap. Gas power expanded dramatically in the UK. Some of that came from our own supplies in the North Sea, but it also meant massively increasing the amount that we import from abroad from countries like Russia. The net effect was that Britain became reliant on volatile markets and foreign governments for its energy supplies. When Russia invaded Ukraine in 2022, we all paid the price for that. The cost of natural gas shot up and it fed the cost of living crisis that we've all been living through. Now, with the shift to renewables underway, we need nuclear power more than ever. Wind and solar are great forms of energy and we need more of them, but they are volatile and they're unstable. We need nuclear power to build the stable baseline for our energy supplies. But we have a serious problem. The lives of our existing nuclear reactors have been extended again and again, but we're now reaching a crunch point. In the 1990s, 25% of our power came from nuclear. Now it's 15% but very soon it could be as little as five. Small modular reactors offer hope for the future, but Britain's record of building infrastructure, nuclear power in particular, is terrible. That needs to change and fast. If Britain is going to be successful in the transition to net zero and achieving the energy security that we all want, 